This is the glitchiest offense in Madden NFL 23. Yourself, <laughs> Whether you want explosive run plays, run away, run away. pass plays that beat any defense, or an offense that works anywhere on the field, including the red zone. If you want to see the unstoppable offense that I use every game, stick around after this intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offense that I'm using today is once again out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. This to me is the best offense in the game. I just dropped the 49ers offense as well and plan on making some videos about them Woo! next. So if you want to see that or more Saints, hit the like button and make sure to be a subscriber for that. The formation I'm in today should look very familiar if you watch my gameplays because I use this in literally every gameplay, including yesterday's defense video where I asked you guys to hit the like button for a full breakdown and that's what today's video is about. See how that works? So always let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next, whether it's a team you want me to use, a playbook you want me to do content from, or even a topic that you're struggling with, and you never know, it might become the next topic of a video I do. Especially if a lot of people request it or the comment you make gets a lot of likes showing me that a lot of people are interested. So at the end of the day, you're comments help mold this channel so thank you for commenting and showing support the formation i'm going to highlight today though is the gun stack y flex i have been using this formation for many years and while the setups have changed a little bit i feel like it has only gotten better over time let me know in the comments section if you remember me putting this out in the past as it's always interesting to me to see how long people have been following this channel I had a lot of footage to go through to make this video, but it really was easy to find the moments when I use this offense, and that's because every single time I chose this formation, I would always be in the audible play menus first. I can't express enough how important it is to set up your audible plays when running this offense to give yourself the biggest advantage possible. This is a highly adjustable and adaptive offense, which is why even after I set my audibles, I'm constantly resetting them throughout the game. This is because this offense has a total of seven plays that I use, and I only have four options for audible plays then a fifth play that I can choose as the play I'm going to run that down so I am constantly changing my audible throughout the game because I only can pick four of my favorites the first and probably most important play is the run play a simple inside zone the reason it's the most important is because this is the first play that I look for every single time I read the defense if the defense is spread too far apart at the line if I see any gaps I'm going to take it because it's a very effective run play that can easily go for 10 yards or more every single time I wouldn't consider myself a run first player and you don't have to either but the run play sets up the pass play ultimately if you have your opponent's user worried about defending the run in the middle of the field it makes the pass plays get open that much easier the pass plays that i use the most are the drive h wheel and the corner strike these two pass plays have two things in common they both have a route that gets open against any defense man or zone meaning to stop them they have to be usered by your opponent the second thing is that both of these routes happen outside the numbers the drive h wheel has two such routes the running back wheel route in the flat and the corner route on the other side of the field the corner strike just has the corner route though but it's still a very effective route so that's why it's important to run the ball up the middle first so your opponent can leave the middle of the field and affect these other outside routes I will go over the halfback slip screen and the Y sale later in the video to give you guys a full five play offense to use, but I'm going to just focus on these three plays to start, starting with the inside zone. The PA read is also a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses, but I'm going to save that for the people that uh, buy my eBooks uh, for my Patreon members and my join now community members. If you guys want to check that stuff out though, links in the description below. When using the inside zone, you will notice an immediate advantage the formation gives you due to the stack wide receivers. If anybody remembers when they put the stack plays into Madden several years ago, stack formations like the monster stack were completely overpowered based on what they did to spread the defense. You get that same advantage here where the stack a lot of times pulls linebackers away from the middle of the field, giving you an easy opportunity to run the ball. You have five offensive linemen, so I would say at any time you have the same amount of defenders inside the tackle box or less, you should always run the inside zone because if it's even, you're going to get a positive gain and it will eventually force your opponent to adjust. They will either come out in bigger, slower run defenses, which will make it easier to run the pass plays anyway, or they will stay inside to try to stop the run themselves. You can see here, even with a disadvantage in numbers, as my opponent has six men in the box, I can still have successful run plays with this particular play. 
When it comes to the pass plays, the Drive 8's wheel is definitely the first audible play that I choose, and it's also my most used pass play. To run this play, it's best to split the field in half pre-snap and choose which side you want to throw to first. First, I'm going to focus on the right side with the wheel route because, like I stated earlier, no defense covers it, so it should be the most used thing on this play. In the past, I would usually motion this wheel route to the line, and it was really glitchy against cover 3 and cover 4, but now I find it really works best like it is, just leaving him in the backfield. Without the motion, it will get open under any zone coverage unless your opponent uses cover two hard flat set to zero, but even then you just have to wait for him to turn up field and he will get open before he gets to the safety. The real challenge is against man coverage, as it's really not a challenge at all. It just requires proper timing. I mentioned this in yesterday's video as well, that this route beats man coverage easily if you throw it immediately, bullet and pass lead away from the trailing defender, but if you wait too long, the defender will eventually catch up, and since it's a throw to the flat, poor timing can be very costly, as there will be nobody around to make a tackle if you throw an interception. But to be honest with you, this happens very rarely, and it's completely in your control if you make a good read. The drag and the in route are, are good checkdowns over the middle against man or zone, but you will rarely need them if you get the timing for the running back pass down. An added bonus to this wheel route is that since everyone is running man zero blitz a lot of times, your opponent will be responsible for this route. They will forget to cover it instead of electing to stay in the middle of the field, typically to cover one of the crossers or maybe even the drag, and a lot of times leave the running back just wide open for big plays, especially if they haven't seen the play yet. On the other side of the field, the corner route gets open against any defense in the game as well, so if you want to push the ball down the field or give your opponent something else to worry about, this is a good play. There are two types of corner routes in the game. Anytime you see a corner route that has a curve in it like this, it means it's the kind that's programmed to beat both man and zone. If the route diagram doesn't have this extra arch, it's just a zone beater. It doesn't really beat man very well. This can beat both man and zone simply by putting the X or the square route next to it, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation, on a streak. Because the two routes are so close together, the streak will pull back any zone coverage, getting the wide triangle route open outside against any defense. Also, since the wide receivers are so close together, a lot of times you run against man coverage, the defenders will bump each other off, giving you extra separation. You might have noticed by now that I talked about three different areas of the field that are being attacked in just two plays, which is why these are the two main plays of the formation. The run is up the middle, the wheel route is underneath to the right, and the corner route is deep outside to the left, making this very hard to cover all three options. I have yet to run anybody that has effectively stopped all three. The third play in this formation is the corner strike, and I'm going to use the exact same concept with the stack that I used before in the previous play. Only this time we're going to be streaking the Y or triangle route because the corner route is the route that I want to get open. It works the same by getting open against any man or zone, only I feel this gets much more separation. If I had my choice, I wish I could combine the wheel route from the previous play with this particular play because this play really doesn't have a check down. Typically I drag the tight end to give myself something underneath though. The lack of a second option on this play usually allows your opponent to focus on this route, but if they do with a safety, a lot of times the streak then becomes a good option. The last two plays are basically the exact same play, only one play is a screen play. The Y sail might be my third most used play because it's very similar to the drive H wheel. The running back gets open in the flat under any zone but isn't guaranteed against man. The zig and the out route to the tight end are though. Run this play the same way you would the drive H wheel. Split the field in half pre-snap once again, typically to the running back and the tight end side because there's two options instead of one. If it's a man coverage, hit the tight end. If it's a zone coverage, either the running back or the tight end will be open. You just have to watch which direction the zone defender reacts to more. Making the wrong decision to the running back once again can be disastrous as once again, there's nobody underneath that could be a would-be tackle if you throw an interception. The screenplay works the exact same way as the tight end and zig routes will still beat man coverage fast enough to still be an option on this play, especially against the meta man blitz since the safeties covering start back so far. The screen play is best against blitzes, but I find it's best to use in the red zone or anytime your opponent isn't expecting it. So that's that's the vid. I'm going to have another Saints offense video popping up on the screen right now if you guys want to check that out and add that to your offense. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below